Right, so this is a tutorial on how to combine your system output audio and your microphone input uh, when you're doing a screen recording or a uh, an audio recording in QuickTime X. Um, the tutorials I've seen for doing this uh, don't let you listen to the the system audio while you're recording, which in my opinion is not very helpful for most people. So I figured out a way to do that, uh, to let you do that. Um, you'll need Soundflower from Cycling74. Here's the website, you can Google that, uh, Soundflower. Um, once you've downloaded that and installed it, <clears throat> you open up the application Soundflower Bed, and up in the menu bar you get this little item that looks like a flower. Uh, under that you'll have two options. Um, Soundflower six, uh, 2 channel and Soundflower 16 channel. Uh, even though the website says that that 2 channel will, will be good enough for most of the stuff you do, uh, I found for this that it doesn't work, so we use 16 channel instead. Under this menu, the first thing you'll do is select the output you want to listen to with, which in my case is my headset right here. Um, you can use a built-in output for um, <clears throat> those would be your speakers, uh, or if you have a head, uh, headphones plugged in, you can select those. Um, so you select that for what you want to listen to what you're recording with. Um, now we need to make something called an aggregate audio device. What this basically does is it takes a whole bunch of um, audio input and output outputs on your computer and combines them into one thing the system can point audio to or take audio from. Um, you'll make one of those in uh, Audio MIDI Setup. It's an application in your, your application in your utilities folder, uh, but you can also access it from the Soundflower menu right here, Audio Setup. Um, what we want is one of these blue things right here, an aggregate device. Uh, click on the plus sign and that'll get, give you a new one. I don't want to do that right now because that will um, mess up my audio setup and screw up my recording and everything. Um, so I will just show you what, the one I'm using right now. Um, you click on the new one you make, you can change the name of it uh, to whatever you want, something um, descriptive. This one I'm using is Combine Built-in Mic In, System Out, Soundflower 16. And over here, you'll have the various inputs and outputs on your system, all of them. Uh, for this, you want to select just two, which will be Soundflower 16, click the checkbox right there, and whatever microphone you're using. Uh, my, uh, I usually use my head headset right here, but uh, to make it clearer, I'm using a separate input from uh, from my head from my headphones right now. So uh, I've selected the built-in microphone. I'm actually using the built-in microphone to record this right now. So you select your input and Soundflower there, and then you can quit Audio MIDI setup. Now you go to System Preferences. under sound in the output tab. You scroll down and select your audio device or your aggregate audio device that you just built. Combine built-in mic in system out Soundflower 16. And you do the same thing in the input tab. Select the same aggregate device. Now we can go over to QuickTime um, QuickTime Player X and make a new movie recording, audio recording, screen recording. I can't do a screen recording because I'm actually making one right now. So we'll do a new audio recording. And as you can see, it's picking up my voice right here with the, ver uh, with the levels tab, uh, levels meters right there. Um, but when you first open one, you probably need to select your input device, your basically your microphone. So you can do that with this little triangular tab over here, and under microphone you can select, once again, the aggregate audio device that you build. 
Now, before that, you might want to turn the volume down in this little window as far as you can, if it's not already. Because if you don't do that, uh, it'll create a feedback loop with some pretty heavy reverb, kind of like, like this. this. If, you bring, if you bring it all the way up to the top, it'll be a ridiculous no, and, and overload. And yeah, don't want to do that. And now, with this setup, you can listen, you can record system uh, audio, or audio from other applications, and listen to it at the same time. Here's a little piece of music. And as you can see, that's also coming up in my my recording window right here. Very little, because it's not very loud right now. So, that's how you um, combine output audio and input and listen to it at the same time for screen recordings or audio recordings, just podcasts and all. Um, hope you understood this tutorial. Uh, if there's a better way to do this, please let me know because I really don't know what I'm doing. I had to do a lot of just random clicking around and trying different setups and stuff to figure this out.